Flu season is here, and doctors recommend that you get a flu shot to help prevent yourself from getting influenza A or B. But what's the difference between the two? Well, here with what you need to know on the flu is infection prevent preventionist Chloe Hamilton. Good morning, Chloe. Good morning. All right, so the Centers for Disease Control reported that the main flu virus this season is influenza B. What exactly does that mean? Um, well, we have different types of uh, influenza. Commonly, we see uh, flu A and flu B. Um, normally, flu A is predominant, um, but right now we're seeing a big increase in flu B, and it's come through even sooner this season. Um, flu B tends to affect children um, a lot harder, mm -hmm. and um, nationwide we've seen a total of 39 um, pediatric deaths, mm -hmm. and um, 28 of those were related to flu B. Okay, and when it comes to, I guess, that was the national statistic, right? Yes. That it's the B that's prominent this year. Is that the same here in Hawaii as well? It is. Okay. Um, like I said, normally we see a lot of flu A, and typically in, in Hawaii we are um, a year-round. Um, we have year-round flu season. Um, flu A more so in the winter months, and then flu B in the summer uh, months. But flu B came a lot sooner this year. Interesting. Yeah. And do they know why that is? No, not sure why. Okay. It just it kind of happens that way. Right. And, and what are the symptoms? I know you mentioned, you know, there have been deaths. How serious are the potential complications? Um, so common um, symptoms, you can see body aches, temperature of um, really high temperatures, usually you'll see, um, and um, um, chills, headaches. Um, children usually have um, high fevers and they may have um, abdominal issues, so they may complain of an upset stomach, um, um, diarrhea and vomiting. And you, you can see that in adults, but mostly you'll see that in children. Okay, and, and again, they could potentially escalate. So yeah, complications um, can lead to death. Um, this year we've seen a total of 17,000 deaths and the majority of those have been with uh, adults over the age of 65. So at what point, I mean, obviously it's very serious, and I think a lot of people when they think flu, it's like, oh, something you can get over, but again, it can turn into something a lot worse. At what point do you know you should go to the ER? So if you start having confusion, um, seizures, um, temperatures for children above 104, uh, you really want to go and uh, take um, your family member to the ER because it could be uh, a matter of life or death. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then... Again, prevention is key with this, right? But is it too late to get the vaccine already? It is never too late to okay. get the vaccine. It's actually recommended if you um, have already had the flu this season to still go and get the flu vaccine. Um, there are people in the community who cannot get the vaccine because they may have allergies. Mm -hmm. um, so if we all go get our vaccine, we can actually help protect the people who aren't able to get vaccinated. Right, right. And for those who do want to get vaccinated, where can they go? How do they do it? So you should go see your primary care physician. Um, if you don't have a PCP, um, contact uh, Adventist Health Castle. We do have primary care physicians who are taking uh, new patients. And you can visit our website or give us a call and we'll help get you set up. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Chloe. Again, infection preventionist with Adventist Health Castle. Thank you so yes, much for joining Thank us this you. morning with all the details. This is your expertise, that's for sure. <laughs> so she says it, go get your flu shots, you guys, for A and B, A right? A and B. Okay, yes. perfect. Thank you so much for joining us Thank this morning. Thank you for having me.